This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're going to talk about the absolute nonsense that is turrets in the Mistlands update. Let's get to it. I don't understand how these devs can do so many amazing things with this game and do so many things right and then decide to do something as just useless as making turrets for defensive purposes that also target the player and every friendly unit on the map. Turrets are an absolutely amazing idea for a base defense system for the raids that are in the game. And I know some of you out there are probably going to say, well, they did it for balance reasons and no, that's a terrible balancing decision. They could have easily balanced it by making the bolts harder to make, which gives a balance in the sense of time spent for the amount of reward you get from the system. Currently, there are only two bolts for the ballistas. There are the wooden missiles, which deal 75 damage, and there are the black metal missiles, which deal 120 damage. Both deal piercing damage. The ballista itself is relatively inexpensive, costing you 10 black metal, 10 world tree wood, and three mechanical springs. And you only need a workbench in order to place one down. But the fact that they waste ammo on every single unit in the game, including friendly units, makes them more or less just an absolute waste of time. However, in a few key situations, they can be somewhat useful if you build a proper housing for them. And that's what we're going to talk about today is how to make them somewhat useful. So what I have here is a design that keeps them from shooting you in most cases and shooting everything else that you see on the map and basically allows them to only shoot the y'all or gal or however you go about pronouncing it. And that is because they are based on line of sight. So in most situations, as long as they don't have line of sight, as you can see, I can be all around here and it won't shoot me because it doesn't have line of sight to do so. And the y'all fly at about the line of sight that I have them set. Now, it's not just as easy as building this little structure that you see here, which I'm going to show you how to build first. There are a few other things that you need to take into account when you are building this in order to ensure that you are not wasting just loads of ammo, especially considering the ammo that you most likely want to use in this is the black metal missiles, which are going to cost you two black metal, 10 wood and two feathers per five missiles. The wood is relatively cheap, but only dealing 75 damage, costing you five core wood and five normal wood. You also get five missiles for that. So the build structure is pretty easy to do. You're just going to go over to your build menu. You're going to grab foundation and you are going to place stone foundation around six high. Now, I like to start with six, but then you're going to want to mess with the height a little bit, depending on some situations. And we'll talk about that here in a second. So once you have your foundation stacked, you are going to grab the 26 degree thatch roof corner and you're going to start by placing the corners. And the reason we are doing this is because once you place the turret, you won't be able to place down the side pieces because there's going to be overlapping there. So if we grab a turret and we kind of wiggle it in there, you have to mess with it a little bit. It's a little finicky, but you can eventually get it. Now, if I come back over to my thatch pieces here and I attempt to get them in there, you can see I can't snap it. It won't snap. It says it's invalid placement. However, if I attach it to the side like that, I don't have any problems placing it. And then we're going to leave the back empty so that we can fill it. Now, I also like to obscure its vision just a little bit more by going through and placing the wood beams across the side. You can also place the log beams, but I have noticed that placing the log beams here instead, it has a little bit more trouble shooting the y'all. I get much better results using the just normal wood beams. And we're just going to place those around the outside. And this helps to just add a little bit there to the edge because surprisingly enough, it looks like there is enough here to actually block its vision, but it, you'll notice you'll get a lot more random stray shots if you don't do this. And now from here, you can just kind of fancy it up a little bit. I like to just place one there. This is all unnecessary here. It just makes the build look a little bit better and we can just place one in there like that. And then from there, you're going to grab your ladder and you want to hold down the shift so that you're not snapping to anything, center it up, and then you just place your ladder out like you see there. 
and now you can just run up to the back of this thing really nice and easy it will not turn around and shoot behind you if you take a look here you can see its range of view so they rotate their range of view here and it stops right there it's a cone in front of it now as I stated at the beginning there's a few things to keep in mind when you are doing this it's not as easy as just building up a tower the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your base area that you are planting these down on is as flat as possible because you probably don't want these just in the front like I have here you would probably want some in the middle maybe some on the back side ensuring that it is as flat as possible ensures that you are constantly obscured from its vision the other thing you want to do is make sure that any area in which you may be exploring and coming back to your base and not just taking a portal is sloped down as you can see here this whole area is sloped down so I don't really have any issues with having this one six tall I'm constantly out of its line of sight this one on the other hand has been constantly giving me issues as you can see I've also raised this one up to seven you can see here it's been shooting the front like crazy it probably needs to go to eight and that is because of this massive hill here and rabbits hopping around on it as soon as you get up to here you can see the turret if you can see the turret there is a good chance as you can see there it can see you so as soon as you move down a little bit it will shoot down and hit itself so it probably needs to be raised a little higher the other thing you can do to solve this situation is just go through and clear this out and level this as much as possible and take all of this down all the way back until we get to this rock so that there is nothing for rabbits or anything else to climb on and as you can see over here I was having a bit of issue as well but what I did is I went through and just leveled the area as much as possible once you get to about right around this area here you are out of the turrets range if you see here it's looking at me but it is not shooting because this is out of its range they do have a bit of a limited range so I've spawned and y'all we're gonna get his attention a little bit here and just kind of kite him over here so you can see the turrets at work and this is essentially the only thing they are really good for however even then their use is relatively meh and I would recommend just learning how to deal with these things and fighting them yourself they're actually not too difficult to deal with you can kind of shut them down by staying underneath of them the ticks are pretty easy to kill as long as you have anything that is AOE related so you can just bam some fireballs or smack a mace down and you should be fine for the most part if you are having issues getting hit by the y'all you can protect yourself with a bit of a bubble there but as you can see they are slowly sometimes firing on it but not continuously and honestly I could probably kill it faster myself than worrying about the turrets and worrying about building a structure such as you see there in order to stop them from shooting me honestly this really needs to be changed they should not shoot anything but hostile units you can see they finally killed the y'all there and now we can go through and take care of the ticks but I would advise just fortifying your structure in a way that allows you to deal with any y'all that show up or anything else that shows up and not wasting your time on the turrets but if you want to this is one way you can go about doing it to help ensure that they do not shoot you when you are out and about because the last thing you want to have happen is you are out in front of your base fighting some type of raid and all of a sudden your turrets decide to target you after you are already low health and knock you out it's a terrible design and I really hope they find a better solution for balancing these things instead of having them shoot the player what is your opinion on the turrets let me know down there in the comment section I'm eager to hear your all's thoughts and opinions on this and if you enjoyed this video you found it helpful and informational consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos and if you want to see other awesome Belheim guides you can find a link to one of those on the screen right now I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to become an official channel supporter check out the links in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your support until next time thanks for watching